Hi, I'm Angelica. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little while since I've shown my face on here. I wanted to pump through all of the floral cooler building videos before I jumped back into like my normal schedule for this YouTube channel. But day three and day four of the floral cooler building um, is going to be posted after this video as well as kind of like the floral cooler inside and out. That way you guys can see what everything looks like and how I went about it. I think I'm gonna do a talk through of like, you know, everything that we used, everything that we did, how we went about things. It definitely tested me quite a bit. But today I'm getting ready for a floral mock-up that we're gonna have here in the studio. I'm gonna hold it here in this office. I'm gonna showcase pretty much what the floral tablescape is going to look like um, come the day of. This is for a September wedding. And I actually love all of the rentals. Um, so I pulled some inventory and I'm gonna show you. Um, these are the votives that I'm going to be pairing with a tea light that I'll show you in just a sec. I like to use all of my used candles. I'll show you. Um, this is a used tea light. It's not like used all the way, like not even halfway. Um, and this is like a perfect time to use it for a mock-up. Everything's usually lit for a mock-up by the time the client gets here, so they don't even realize it. Although everything is new come the day of, like for the wedding or for the event, we provide everything new. But I love recycling everything, so if there's like used candles or, you know, used mechanics, used items that I could get more use out of them, I definitely keep them. Um, and so for mock-ups, it's just perfect to just utilize already what I have. So these are the votives. And again, it has this gold texture and the gold rim. These votives are also going to be paired with tapered candles for the long tablescapes, but we're only showcasing the round tablescape today. And I'll show you. I have them over here on this side. Um, because I won't be adding them until after they're here and I'm presenting everything to them. These are some ribbed tea lights. And again, they have a used candle in there. Um, so I've pulled a few of these out and I'm just going to place them to the side on this furniture piece. That way um, I can easily just place them and keep adding if you know we have a conversation about you know the different changes and the different candle selections and such but um i'm really excited to like have this meeting and for them to see the floral and just like talk through everything i have the floral cooler in i mean i have the floral in the floral cooler so i'm gonna go get it really quick that way i can show you um but for the floral meeting uh floral mock-up meeting i'm wearing this Kind of like knit vest and it's giving a little black and white but it's definitely navy um and i paired it with some black shorts however i think i'm gonna change into some black slacks because i think it's a little bit more professional um the shorts are definitely not like super short or anything i dress more on the conservative side anyway um but i think just like pants will make me feel a little bit more comfortable and I just won't have to worry about potentially having to pull them down or anything. Um, I'm also wearing them, or I'll show you. Um, I'm wearing them with some sandals. I don't know if you could see that. Um, and I'm loving this um, nail color right now. So I think like that's just like the pop of color that I have throughout my outfit. I definitely need to touch up my hair because ever since I started tucking it back, um, it kind of creased here in the front. So either I'll keep it back and tucked behind my ears or I'll have to touch it back in the bathroom um, in just a sec. But because this vest has like some gold detailing, I ended up pairing it with these really pretty hoop earrings. I loved these, all my jewelries from Ana Luisa. You guys know I love them so, so much. All of their pieces are like designed super beautifully, made to last, all of the things. Um, and I'll include a, what is it called? Uh, like a discount code for you um, if you're interested in ordering from them. But 
I love these pieces because, or these earrings because it's just one earring, but it's a whole loop. So you just like put it through and you circle it around, but it looks like I'm wearing two hoops, which is like unreal because I only have one piercing. So I like more of a smaller earring if I'm gonna um, be using a necklace. And this is their pebble necklace, which I've been trying to get my hands on forever. Um, or since forever ago, they just usually sell out of it. It's just so so pretty the necklace It's so dainty and like the actual pebble itself is just like such a statement I love it especially with like a no a lower Neckline and then of course I just I'm wearing my wedding ring and this really really pretty bracelet that I thought would pair well with these two but let me go to the floral cooler get the floral and then i'll show you how everything looks together it's mock-up meeting time and this is her It's the next day, hence the curly girl hair today. I am here in studio about to start flowering away. I only got through 15 bud bases yesterday because there was just so much processing to get done and preparing and also rest. <laughs> um, so I just kind of left everything till today and I'm gonna pretty much flower all of the centerpieces, all of the bud vases, literally every single floral other than personals, which I will get to tomorrow. Today I'm wearing this really comfy outfit. These um, light green linen pants are from Zara. I'm wearing um, just a comfortable striped tank top and I'm wearing actually sandals today. These brief foam sandals are the best thing ever. I love wearing them if I'm not wearing sneakers because they have like this foam and grip at the bottom that allows me just to stand all day if I need to, which it's most likely the case today. I um, don't have the foam mats quite yet. I plan on getting some um, just for like the comfort of everything. Um, but these sandals are amazing and the space here is so large that even if there was a spillage there's really no danger of like simply falling necessarily because we could just like sweep the water away and I have concrete floors so it like soaks it right up but let me show you all of the bases that I'm gonna be working with so this is the base selection that I'm gonna be utilizing for this week's wedding there's more on the other side of the table I'll show you in just a sec but these vases are from North Palm. If you're not familiar with that brand, definitely check them out. They have really, really stunning ceramics. Um, I've already secured these pins onto the vases. Well, I actually had my operations gal do that. Um, but so these are pretty much ready to go to be filled with water and flowered. And then these are kind of like a larger size bud vase. Bud vase. Um, this is what I started yesterday i started flowering these i only got through 15 so i still have as you can see a lot more to go um and then on the other side what's a girl without the matcha um on the other side um i have these bud vases as well and these are from camellia supply if you're also not familiar with that brand they have as well stunning ceramics so definitely check them out as well i have this bud vase and then this one right next to it, which is the pairing, um, short, short and tall. Um, so definitely pairing these together at each table or at half of the tables. And then I also have this kind of like volcano looking one, which is the same tone, but it just looks a little different because of the lighting in here. Um, I have the taller version of this. They're just at the other table over there. Um, but these also need to be flowered along with the taller version of this bud base. So as you can see, there's just so, so many to still flower and get through. I also have some tea lights here. These are rib tea lights. 
I have so many here and I'm still missing, I think, three that I need to pull. Um, so these are going to be prepped today with the candles that come in. And then I have some tapered candle holders just down here, which I believe we already have the full quantity um, gathered. So just a lot to get through today. So exciting. Excuse my hair. I just got super, super hot. I had to like put it up in somewhat of a bun. It's kind of like tying itself because I don't have any like hair ties or anything. But this is the look of the faces so far. I still have a lot of them to complete. I'm getting through these ones right now. I'm just adding a little bit of Orlea. And then these, I still have to finish them, but these have Tweedia. And then the taller versions over here will have some Ranunculus and Orlea. Um, and then I still have to get through all of the center pieces, all of the pin florals. Um, but we're having some really, really great progress right now. And um, I also had Lucky Place all of the candles that we're taking to the venue um, just to the side that way they're ready for load up um, all of the florals on this side with these vases and baby's breath are completed everything's going to look so beautiful together once the tablescape is pretty much set up and the candles are up and all um, i sent lucky to pick up the votives um, the votive candles or tea light candles that are going into the tea lights. Um, hopefully she's able to find them. We're inside the cooler and these are the packed florals. There's some more on the ground right there. We have still a lot of full buckets. Mm -hmm. 